Hi, I'm Mike with Lenovo. In this video, I'm gonna show the best practices to follow when servicing LCD panels in Lenovo products. Laptops, tablets, and all-in-one systems each have LCD panels that can be removed and replaced if the panel should become damaged. I will cover the process for servicing the LCD panels in each of these systems. One of the first things a technician should do before servicing the LCD panel in any Lenovo product is download and review the Hardware Maintenance Manual, or HMM. The LCD panel in most systems cannot be removed without first removing many other components. Find the section of the HMM that describes the removal of the LCD panel. In this section, there will be a list of components that must be removed, as well as the correct order to remove them. The LCD panel in a non-touch laptop is secured to the top cover and it has a bezel around the front edge. With some laptops, you may have to remove the LCD unit from the base of the system by following the instructions in the HMM. Other systems will require you to remove the keyboard bezel and disconnect the hinges from the base before removing the LCD bezel. There may be two screws securing the bezel close to the hinges. Remove the screw covers and then remove the screws. Using your fingertips, pull up on the inner edge of the bezel slightly and carefully pop the clips around the edge of the LCD. Some bezels will have a thin strip of double-sided tape along the bottom edge. This helps to keep any gaps from appearing between the bezel and the LCD panel. Use caution when removing the bezel to prevent damaging the tape. Once the bezel has been removed, locate the four screws that hold the LCD panel in place on the top cover. Remove these screws and lift the panel from the top cover and flip it over. Peel up the tape from the LCD cable connector. Open the clip and disconnect the cable from the panel. To replace the LCD panel, be sure to peel the protective cover from the LCD panel. Lay it face down and align the LCD cable to the connector on the panel. Connect the cable and lock the clip. Secure the tape over the clip and flip the panel over. Align the panel with the top cover using the screw holes and install the four screws. Align the bezel with the top cover and begin snapping the clips together around the edge of the system. If the bezel has double-sided tape on the edge, make sure it is positioned correctly on the bezel. Install the screws and screw covers. Touchscreen laptops can vary in the way the LCD panel is serviced. With most touchscreen laptops, the LCD panel is enclosed in the LCD assembly, which contains the top cover, wireless antennas, LCD, and digitizer. To replace the LCD panel in a system like this, you would simply replace the entire LCD assembly. Some touchscreen laptops, like the ThinkPad X1 Yoga, will have an LCD panel that can be removed from the top cover or LCD assembly. Remove the bezel on the bottom of the LCD assembly and remove the two screws. Disconnect the cable from the touch control board. Slide the LCD panel toward the bottom of the LCD assembly to release it from the clips and lift it from the system. Place the new LCD panel into position and slide it toward the top of the LCD assembly to lock it into the clips. Install the two screws and connect the cable to the touch control board. Install the bezel, then install the LCD assembly into the laptop. In order to access the LCD panel in a tablet system, you must first remove all other components. The HMM will guide you through the process. Once you have removed everything, you are left with the LCD assembly. Install all of the components onto the new LCD assembly and replace the back cover. All-in-one systems can be touchscreen or non-touchscreen. In either case, many components must be removed before servicing the LCD panel. Refer to the HMM for instructions on how to remove the necessary components. In a non-touch all-in-one system, the LCD panel can be removed from the front bezel, which doubles as the chassis for the system. Once you have removed the necessary components as listed in the HMM, remove the interior frame, remove the four screws, and lift the LCD panel from the chassis. Disconnect the LCD power cable and the LVDS cable from the LCD panel. The touchscreen LCD panel is a single unit with the LCD panel and chassis together. After following the HMM to remove all the necessary components, remove the interior frame. Disconnect the LCD power cable and the LVDS cable from the LCD panel. You are then left with the touchscreen LCD panel. This concludes our video on the best practices for servicing LCD panels in Lenovo products.